Did 343 just leak the classic Magnum returning to Halo Infinite? Well, let's talk about it, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So yes, you heard me right, possibly the classic Magnum returning in Halo Infinite. Because if you guys don't remember, the classic Magnum and the classic shotgun are currently not going to be in the release for Halo Infinite. Because what weapon is more iconic than anything out there within the Halo franchise? It's the classic Magnum that we've had throughout Halo. Now there have been certainly different iterations of the Magnum, different effectiveness as well. But overall, we've had it pretty much in every Halo game. And for this Halo Infinite to be like a soft reboot and trying to recall back some of the old feels, it just feels like we're missing out on something here without the classic Magnum within the game. Though 343 recently just posted up this cosplay guide for Spartan Naomi 101, which this cosplay whole setup does give you some pretty cool insight when it comes to just putting together the armor sets and also just has some really cool images like this right here just some cool poses of just like high res images of our spartans that we get to have for halo infinite which is freaking amazing and they go in some really great detail over this whole thing but there's one slide in particular i really wanted to show you guys when it comes to something gameplay related for halo infinite so let's go right to that slide so when it comes to various segments of the armor sets they have like nice little descriptions of like how to get them look just right for this but they also bring up this part right here which is the sidearm security section which is a very interesting text that they have right here we'll zoom in on so you guys can see it better it says the thigh armor can also be a potential spot to mount a weapon holster letting you keep your m6d magnum or mk50 sidekick close at hand so when i read that i'm like you have my attention and just so we're all on the same page the m6d pistol slash magnum is the classic magnum that we had back in combat evolved and just so you guys know that each magnum that we've had in different games have had different variations of them this is the m6 series right but then like say for halo 4 we had the m6h magnum in halo 5 we had the m6h2 personal defense weapon as well so we see we have different variations of this but they specifically mentioned the m6d now i highly suspect that see these classic weapons returning eventually within Halo Infinite, probably within even the first year of the game being released. As it does seem like right now within the sandbox, there's a bit of a gap for the pistol side of things that we have the sidekick, but you also don't really have much of a single fire precision weapon that could be very useful, like we don't really see the DMR anywhere as well. And which like the classic Magnum and the Battle Rifle kind of would compete within the same kind of effectiveness within the sandbox, though maybe with like the CE version of the Magnum that would be possibly put into Halo Infinite, we could see some extra traits like we had in Halo 5 where they actually had a bit of a speed boost whenever you use the Halo 5 version of the M6D Magnum. Now another argument you could bring up with this is saying like, well I'm sure there's a lot of people who make cosplay and probably have an M6D Magnum or some type of Magnum already where they can just slap it on there and that's kind of a fair argument as well. But this, I looked through this entire document, it's very Halo Infinite focused when it comes to the verbiage that they use, the different kind of modifications you can make to your cosplay and things like that. So I think that very possible that, yeah, they could just be referencing someone owning an M6D Magnum, but there's multiple other kinds of Magnums. Why mention that one specifically, especially once they also mention that this is a soft reboot where it's supposed to capture that combat evolved feel when it comes to playing the game. What weapon to capture that classic Halo Combat Evolved feel than the classic Magnum. And in my opinion, I would highly expect to see the CE Magnum return back in Halo Infinite at some point. I mean, we have 10 years with Halo Infinite and to not have the classic Magnum in Halo Infinite at some point would just be a complete shock to me. And I'm sure there's some kind of way where they can make it fit into the sandbox properly because there've been many different iterations of the classic Magnum that I just showcased to you guys. And so there's a possibility to fit this within the sandbox. It just depends when and how 343 does plan to do it. In a previous Ask 343 video talking about the sandbox with Quinn Del Hoyo, who is the lead of the sandbox, they actually had the direct question about the Magnum 
them possibly returning within Halo Infinite, stating that how iconic the weapon is and how much it feels like Halo when you have that classic Magnum, or at least some form of that Magnum in your hands shooting. And this is what they said directly. We didn't want to do previously where the Magnum changed from Halo CE to Halo 2, and then it changed again from Halo 2 to Halo 3, and then so on and so on. Every new Halo game seems to to change legacy weapons, and that's something that we don't want to do. We, if we're going to bring a legacy weapon back, we want it to be and play like that weapon that, that players remember and understand without having weird design decisions on why this thing is is changed whatnot we really want these things to be what they are and so that's where um with the magnum we wanted to have uh we wanted to make sure that when we do it that we do it right and with our design goals of pistols being like pistols and not being hyper accurate from really far away that's where the sidekick is is where that weapon is it's that true sidearm that someone can can use quickly and efficiently and then our rifles play more, much more closer to rifles. So I guess that, I don't know. I mean, I could talk forever on this stuff and that's why I, I like doing these kind of things, John, and, and talking about the sandbox. But I guess I, I don't, just, just a, I'll just cut it short there is that, yeah, we, we love the Magnum. It's, a, it's special in our hearts. And when and if and how we bring it back, we wanna make sure we do it right and that the fans will recognize it as the Magnum. And we're not we're not tweaking it or changing it from what it used to be so the key takeaways from that whole spiel is that saying that he wants rifles to feel like rifles and pistols to feel like pistols which i would agree that like the ce magnum definitely felt more like a rifle than an actual pistol and so when you see that aesthetic of a pistol you have some certain expectations you have of how that weapon is going to perform so it'd be interesting to see if we can have like some kind of like slow fire rate high power damage kind of pistol that would totally fit with the ce magnum but how do you tweak it in a way to where it actually fits properly within the sandbox but also still feels like the ce magnum there's a million different ways they can go about doing that and that's what they wanted to touch on within this s343 that they right now want to focus on the sandbox that they have but they say that they are certainly big fans of the magnum and it sounds like they would most likely would bring it back in some capacity they just want to make sure that with in the initial launch of the game that the sandbox is in a good state to where you can start bringing in new weapons because that could totally change up the meta of how multiplayer is played but until we have more concrete information or see other leaks about this i guarantee you guys will just have to wait a little bit longer for some more info so if you guys are new to the channel or been in out of the loop of halo for the last few days or so because there's been a lot of information going around check out the videos on the screen right here i got linked to all my news and informational videos right there so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next one, peace out.